Hey everyone, it's me, Ari Dossett, just call me Rashid. Welcome to another live. And if necessary, I'll open the curtains to get more sunlight in, but because the light is a bit bright, I'll leave the curtains closed for now. Hold on. Let me close this door completely so no noise goes into the living room. Okay. One question before I start. How many of you have seen the previous live stream? Let me know. How many of you have seen the previous live stream that I made yesterday? Okay. Did I have seen it? Did the rest see it too? If you haven't seen it, stop. Listen, if you haven't seen it, okay, and you're here in the live, now this live, continue to watch the live. If you watch the replay, so if you're in the future watching this, you watch the replay, please, then I tell you, please watch the previous live stream first. But for those who are here live right at the moment, keep continuing watching. Okay. Now, Mark for Debt. There was this YouTube channel called Mark for Debt. And on this YouTube channel, the channel creator, he uploaded documentaries. Documentaries he got from VHS tapes or from DVDs, just crime documentaries. He would upload them online. Issue was, though, to copyright, he was not, quote, unquote, entitled to put those all that material on YouTube. So the channel got terminated by YouTube. But I could, I often went to this channel, Mark for Dead, and checked some of those documentaries. And man, they were good documentaries. You could learn a lot from them. But anyway, now you know where I got a title from Mark for Dead. But the, the, the term Mark for Dead is an actual thing that happens in the paranormal. First, I want to explain to you, what does it mean when you're marked for death? I've already written it over here. And again, I want you to participate. I want you to repeat this in the live chat so that you remember it. When, so when someone is marked for death, that means the community has commitments to hide their own failures by eliminating someone. Or being marked for death can also be called, hold on, let me pick up blue. It also be called a dead spell. So if you're under a dead spell, that means you're marked for dead. So what is a dead spell? A dead spell is the community's commitment to hide the public's failure by eliminating you. I say you to make it more personal. Okay, so you should you understand it better. When a community has a commitment to hide their own failures, by eliminating you, that in, in that case, you're under a death spell. So repeat in large of me, what is a death spell? And what else Mark for that has to do with a death spell? Let me know in the live chat right now. Repeat it after me. Repeat it. What is a death spell? Answer in the live chat, please. I just explained it, and it's written on the whiteboard. No, 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 Diane, you, you wrote it the wrong way. The community has a commitment to hide their own failure by eliminating you, not to eliminate you, to by eliminate you. Okay, the thing is, the community, because I will explain to you now, it's, it's quite simple. The community has a failure, something they didn't succeed in making true. The I'm going to write right, right over to the community. Once to hide a failure. The failure is something that will discredit the community. A community 
that loses credibility is community that loses economic potential and financial leverage. So the community does not want the spillage to come out. So the agenda comes to hide the failure of the community. And that often implies killing the victim or witness. of the failure. So right now, take lives over here. The community wants to hide a failure. A failure is something that will discredit our community. For example, it can be that there was child abuse going on. Parents being reckless for their children. The community did not deal with those parents. Now that is a failure of the community. Or it can be that you have a bunch of homeless folks around. Even though there are enough houses in the community, I was thinking, how come you have so many homeless people and you have enough houses? You have more houses than homeless people. How come there are homeless people? That's a failure. Or let's say most men in the community don't know how sexuality works. And now they're blundering in sexual relationships. That's another failure. Or let's say in a community, you have a high percentage of women who are sexually loose. So we're not sexually stable. That is another failure of the community. So in just, just for you to understand, the community failed. The community did not make through what it had to make through. So now the community, so the collective of people, the majority of the population, they want this to be hidden. They don't want to be confronted with it because once they're confronted with it, it's going to call them look bad and they, they're not going to be able to have uh, any self-worth anymore. Because worldlings, their self-worth comes from uh, validation society. Worldlings don't have their own inherent self-worth, they don't. So if the community failures comes up, their own self-worth will decrease also. So they're going to have developed mental issues because of it. In any case, when the community's failures come to the light, two things can happen. Either the community, the majority of people repent and become better human beings, that is fine. Or they, people will lose their mind and begin to escalate to one another. So most of the time in the world, the second happens. Because most people in the world don't serve Jesus. So that's why communities always want to hide their failures. If you are a drug addict, that means the community failed in dealing with your childhood trauma and the community failed in generating healthy social bonds because it's the lack of social bonds that trigger those addictions. So if someone's a drug addict shows that the social bonds in the community don't work, that's a failure. And instead of people saying, you know what, we've sucked, we fucked up, let's improve. If they would do that, most drug addicts would recover, some won't because they're hardcore. Most would recover, you won't have any drug dealers in the street anymore because there's no bad to sell their dope because people can recover, it will be, be good. But because the community refuses to admit the failure and to uh, deal with it, that's why now they want a scandal, a drama to distract everyone with. So it's all about hiding the failure. And they do this by killing the victim, so the one that suffered because of their uh, incompetence, or a witness, the one who shut their mouth about it. Is this clear to you how people become marked for debt? Is it clear to you now what's the, is it clear to you what's behind a debt spell? Uh, it's a collect, when I talk about debt spells here, I mean collective debt spells. I don't talk about those food, this, those tiny food spells. It's a collective debt spell. Do you understand how collective death spell comes into being now? Let me know in the live chat. So, understand that it's all about the failure they don't want to, to, be, to be addressed. Okay, that's why you have cold cases. A cold case is a criminal investigation that's been paused or halted because the public refuses to comply with finding out what happens. Why? 
Because if the public would comply, you have to admit the failure that led to the homicide or, or the crime that happened. So because the public refused to comply, the police realized, you know what, if we force the people to comply, they're going to lose their mind because their failure will come to, to the light. You know what, we don't want people to lose their mind all over the place. So we're going to pause this investigation and let some years pass by. And later in the future, when the people involved in the scandal or in the failure are older or they moved away, now we can um, let someone else deal with the, with the conflict. So the failure becomes a root of conflict in the community. The failure becomes a root of conflict. Okay? So, understand this. What's the best thing to do in daily life is to pay attention to your, to your environment. If you notice a dysfunction that people will not address, that dysfunction that nobody wants to address is a failure they don't want to, to have addressed. So it's better for you not to talk about uh, that dysfunction. Because once you talk about dysfunction, eventually the failure is going to be visible. So that's why every country or every, say every society has taboos. Taboo is a, a prohibition to discuss the failure. Okay? A taboo is a prohibition to discuss the failure. For example, in some places, it's taboo to talk about sex in general. Why? Because the, sex, the sexual activity of the population is either quite harsh or quite abusive. So most people there in their community that are involved in sex are involved in a traumatic way. And because nobody wants to address how traumatic the sexual experiences are, that's why, because all those, because the community, the, the sexual dysfunction of the community is a failure. Because the community is capable of looking for help and becomes sexually healthy. So that's why in many places when you talk about sex is taboo. Why? Because once you talk about sex, sex is the area where the public feels. So if the failure gets oh, it gets, it becomes open, all the other uh, discomforts going to be visible. So that's why you have a taboo. If you mention sex, people will call you rude, or they will uh, accuse you of sexual harassment. They'll take action against you. You won't talk about it. In some places, it's, it's, it's a taboo to ask a woman her age. Why? Because again, in that community, women are often only valued for the sexual availability. And because of the age 30, a lot of women will say that as uh, damaged goods or as useless. That's, uh, in, in those communities, that's why ask a woman her age reminds her of the fact that her sexual availability is decreasing and also uh, the, the, way, the reason why she's valued. So, that is a, so there's a failure in valuing the women in the community. And that's a big failure because everyone came out of a woman. So the fact a lot of people don't value women in that community, that's a big failure. So that's why you're not allowed to ask women their age in that community. So anywhere you go in the world, there are taboos. There are certain things you're not allowed to mention, even when it's in your face. Maybe you arrive at the place and you know it's long a minute. Why is there so much trash on the road? I don't know any trash men coming out to pick the trash, but guess what? Because this happens, this happened in a place in Italy where the mafia is in charge of the, tra uh, of the trash men pick up the trash. And because it was a conflict within the mafia, no trash was picked up. But the fact that there was no public um, service from the government to pick up the trash for the mafia to do it, that, was, that means it was a government failure. And it was also a community failure to do something about it. So you see all the trash outside. I know it stinks, it bothers you, but don't talk about it. Because once you talk about it, now you, people, now you, people, you're forced people to explain why all the trash is there. So in daily life, pay close attention to what people get uncomfortable with. If you notice a taboo in the community, they know that it's a failure they want to keep hidden. But here's the issue. You cannot keep failures hidden for forever. At some point, the failure is going to be in your damn face. For example, if people are totally sexually functional and most sexual experiences are traumatic, you're going to find a lot of people uh, having domestic violence because of it. 
It's going to be in your face. You're going to have a lot of children traumatized also sexually or even sexually molested. If women are not felt in the community, you're going to notice a lot of women compensating, overcompensating when they are reach 30. You see a lot of women becoming very into your face sexually when they're before age 30 because their lives of age 30 are not being valued. So if there's a dysfunction, it's going to come out anyway. So the public now wants to hide, keep the conflict suppressed. Then they want the knowledge of the conflict to be suppressed by killing either the victim of it or people that wish they won't keep their mouth shut. That's what a dead spell is. And it's when the public agrees, you know what, you have to go. Okay, let's say you have a drug addict, okay? And he goes on rehab and now he's not in the, do, doing drugs anymore. Now he has a 95 job. Does him improving damage the credibility of the community? No. Because the people will say, well, it just made the wrong mistake dealing drugs. But what if it came out how much the people neglected this man and their neglect led to him become this drug addict? If now he recovers, it's going to make the community look bad. Because now the failure of community is exposed. So now people want this former drug addict to die. Or they want him in prison, or they want him just gone. Why? Because his survival, him surviving a drug addiction, well, is revealing the failure of the community. If it was just, if it was just any random drug addict and there was no exposure around him and he got better, who cares? But because there was an exposure, or because his case was so severe that it revealed the neglect of the public, it, it revealed the public's failure, that's why now people say, you know what? We don't want this guy to get any better. We want them to either stay a drug addict or we want them to die from overdose. We just want them gone. And, they'll, they'll will, and this individual will be sabotaged by friends and family when Annette tries to recover. This individual will have people suggesting harm onto him all the time. And this individual will have, will have a lot of people uh, looking weird at him wherever he goes. Why? Because it's a public agreement that he had to go. So, understand this. You become marked for death when the public sees you as a threat to their credibility. Now, if the public is not credible, that's their problem. They should be improved. But they want to mask their, uh, their failures. So, if you are a threat to the mask on your failures, they now want you gone. If you were, let's say, you have a woman who goes to, uh, who's off in nightclubs, she's all over the block, sleeping around. And people, and let's, let's say now, she comes from a broken household. But, but the household she's from has a military background. Oh shit. If she came from a household that was broken, people say, oh, there's just a girl with daddy issues sleeping around. People would just brush it off. But if she's from a household with a military background, the military is there to give an example to, 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 to the young men. So if she comes from a household with a military background, that's going to be a big embarrassment for the population. Because that means that the military men are not capable of, uh, uh, of running their families. So now, two things can happen. Either they turn her into this celebrity figure, always pampering her everywhere, or they'll just wish her to die. They'll just wish harm on her. They want her gone. Because her existence alone reveals the failure of the community. Before I continue, are the people that passed away recently around you, or maybe a few years ago, that you suspect were marked for death? Let me know in the live chat. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Maria said yes about the rest of you.
Okay. When you're marked for death, there is one symptom of being marked for death that so many people overlook. Now, there are some exceptions to this, but there's a common uh, symptom when someone is marked for death, and that is that the short period before they're, they're kidnapped or they go missing or they're murdered, there is extraordinary kindness shown to them, either by their new boyfriends or people from past reaching out again, or by some of the new people they meet, there's extraordinary kindness. People go out of their way to be kind towards them. People go out of their way to make things easy for them. Now, if someone uses a charm to be likable, they can also have extraordinary kindness, but that's, that's true, like paranormal activity. I'm not talking about that. When people suddenly, without any, without any uh, when people suddenly turn around and become so kind towards you, it's like, they're, it's like they're fighting to kiss your behind. If people become like that, you're marked for death. Because why weren't they that kind towards you all the time? And why from all people in the community that you see you be so kind towards? They're more kind towards you than to their own children, to their own grandchildren. They're more kind towards you than to their own spouse. Hold on. When you have this acts of ordinary kindness, this intense love bombing uh, of coming someone, that's a sign they're marked for death. And I want you to realize this. Intense love bombing, sudden, all right over here. Some intense love bombing is the same that you're marked for death. Why? Because there are people who picked up the public once you're gone. And because people were part of the public, also the ones that failed to come out, so you have a big portion of the people, including people with money or people with a high position, that want you gone. So when you are marked for death, it's the majority of population where they want you gone, which includes People that work at the police, people that work at, at, at the court system, people that are involved in the military, maybe people in government, people in church, or maybe just people in the streets, drug dealers, whatever. In general, the public wants you gone. And this issue, you are so infamous that you don't even know that men will know about you. The thing is, when you are marked for that, so many people know about you. And often you are not aware of so many people know about you. You may be walking in the street and see people staring at you. I didn't think, why are you staring at me? Because they know about you. Your picture has been circulating on social media, uh, in, in WhatsApp groups, or in text messages, or at many of those uh, churches or bars, whatever, people are showing your face, murmuring about you. Or maybe people don't know your face directly, but they know your name. A lot of people are complaining about you all the time. Hope you'll be gone. When you mark for that, you will also notice um, Weird recognition in public. People are, kind of, are going to treat you like they know you. And the thing is, you're not even a celebrity often. You're not even in people's face on TV or whatever. But it's just like everywhere you go, in that area at least, where there's a death spell on you, people kind of treat you like they all know you. Strangers you meet and they look at you and say, oh, it's just her sheep or just, they think, what? How do they even know my name or whatever? And here's the thing, I have an internet presence. So people can say, oh, I saw you on YouTube. So a stranger can tell me, oh, I saw you on YouTube. One time in the train, 
a woman asked me, is this you? And showed me one of my videos about the Jezebel spirits that I made years ago. So with me, it can happen. The switch and oh, I just know you from YouTube. But a lot of people are not on YouTube. They don't even, a lot of people are not even that into social media. A lot of people even use the group on social media, but after they go, whatever job they apply for, it seems like people know about them. It is because that individual is either the victim of the public's failure, whether they're aware of it or not, or they are alert of the public's failure because they expressed their opinion about it or whatever, and now they are a threat to the credibility of the public. So this individual now will have weird recognition in public and right before the homicide or the kidnapping or the disappearance about to happen, it's going to be a sudden intense love bombing. Did any of you ever went to weird recognition in public? Let me know in the live chat. Look, some people are just very kind. If your neighbor is just very kind, naturally, okay, it's just him. But if he, if he's, if he's that way, he should have been that way all along. If he suddenly out of the blue becomes very kind towards you, okay, watch out. Watch out. Look, some people have survived death spells. Some people who are out there walking around should have been dead years ago. And because they kept surviving, people became terrified of them. That's why nobody bothers with them anymore. They're almost untouchable. But most people who go mark for death eventually die. And most of them are young people. <laughs> Maybe your parents are abusive towards you and in open, you may sh you show everyone, I don't take this. You put your parents in their place. And now everyone thinks, who does this 15 year old kid think he is? We, we should be more respectful for his parents. Why? Your parents are out of their mind and you're 15 years old and you just address the I'm not doing this, I'm your being too. All those other adults allow their own parents to treat you like shit, even now they're grown people. That's a failure on them. But because they don't want to face a failure, now they all want to harm you, the 15 year old boy. Why? Because you feel their failure as a public. So sometimes just doing what's right can even cause you to be marked for death. It happened to Jesus. Amen. So what to do about the death spell? It's quite simple. When you pick up, because here's the thing, before the extraordinary kindness, before, this, uh, before the weight recognition in public, you always have a season of people avoiding you. Season of people. A season of people avoiding you. Over there. Let's see if this goes well. Okay. You can see it. If you go through a season of people avoiding you, avoiding can be people always have an excuse. Sorry, I can't talk to you now. I'm busy. Or at times right hang out, they can't. So, uh, they always have an excuse. Anytime. You, hey, people often come out your text messages or whatever. When you go through a season where the majority of people you've been involved with or have contact with begin to avoid you suddenly, that means because there's memory complaint by the scenes. And because you are a target of negative tension, nobody wants to be around you so it doesn't leak out of them. Instead, of people warn you and singing your sheets. I've been hearing a lot of rumors and resistance about you. Watch out. They don't warn you. They just stay away. And in a bother you. That's what often happens in the world. You have a season of people avoiding you. If after that season, people slowly people begin to talk to you again, that means the tension is over. 
But if the season of avoidance lasts longer than, than two months, okay, let me write this better. And for longer than two months, people have been avoiding you, and you notice we go on for more than two months, then that means that the next step is with recognition in public. And that's going to be extraordinary kindness. This is the last symptom before the killing takes place. So this is the main thing you need to watch out for. But before this main thing happens, it's going to be with recognition, and the weird definition is preceded by a series of people avoiding you. Look, if it's almost summer and people are, are, are quite busy at work to finish work, they can go on holiday and decide an other group will talk to you, okay, it can happen. If, or if, if, this, if it's a season of exams uh, in university and a lot of the, your fellow students are active studying, of course they can't talk to you because they're studying. Okay, so that's different. But if overall, People don't even have the time to say hi to you, whatever. If that was longer than two months, watch out. There is a dark intention from how we are the against you. And if you notice, know with recognition in public, my goodness, begin to shut, decree, declare, command, and shut down all negative tension against you. The longer this contention is atmosphere builds up against you, the quicker this happens and you're, and you're taken out. So, take a note of this. A season of people following you, if it lasts longer than three months, longer than two months, watch out. By the time you have this extraordinary kindness or um, sudden death love bombing, it's often too late already. It's not too late for you to be rescued, but it's, it's far gone already. So many people are in on it already. Look. I don't want any of you to end up as a cold case. You see what I mean? I want you all to live life in your physical body with bodily wholeness, with all your body parts on you for 120 years. Then you, your body perish. Years comes back to resurrect you. I want you to fulfill all your days to glorify God. So what I want for you. I don't want any of you to die prematurely. Let's be before the age of 100. So, from, so because I want you to be alive and fill all your days and do the will of God, I don't want you to end up as a cold case statistics. And also the people around you that you're close to, people just around you to become a cold case statistic. So if you notice someone else, maybe a month for that, command peace around them and command blindness on evildoers. So evildoers can't notice them. So command peace to follow them everywhere they go and command blindness on evildoers. So evildoers don't notice them. That's what you do. Command those two things on their behalf if you, if you suspect a mark for that. Listen. There's a charge built against you. When people begin to meditate angry about you, in the Earth's atmosphere, an electric charge is built against you. This happens when the seeds of people suddenly avoid, uh, avoiding you. If this charge is not dealt with immediately, the charge is going to get bigger and bigger before you notice it's going to crash on you. There are young people who even die in the teenage years through accidents or being, by being killed, whatever, because they were marked for death. And there were warning symptoms they were marked for death and they didn't take up on time. Or it can be that others in the environment pick up their mark for death and they do anything about it. So, again, the community failed. They don't admit their failure because they're narcissistic. So, they put a taboo, don't mention failure. Anyone who reflects the failure because they are the victim of the failure or they are the witness that will shut their mouths, they get marked for death. Simple as that. Amen. And a death spell does not always mean you end up dying. It can also be that you end up with misfortune, like you're homeless for, for a few decades or you have disease on uh, the farm right now. It simply means your life is eliminated because you are a threat to their false credibility. Simple as that.
So, this is how it goes in the world. Look, when you're marked for debt, people know that others want you gone. So a lot of people are going to start affording you. Some people won't avoid you because they become the agents to inform the community. When you're marked for debt, some of the so-called friends and family around you are nothing but agents from the community to tell the community how far, uh, how, how bad it can get you. Sometimes you marry to someone who's an agent who's only there to hold you back. Some women are married to men who only wait them to hold them back. Financially, sexual, all that. Some women are with men and all reason that woman is with the man to so hold the man back. Why? Because that man or that woman that's being held back, their spouse or their partner, is part of the community that wasn't gone. But because community realizes that by, by them being killed, by them going missing, it's going to expose everything, they don't just want to hit the individual. So if it's, too expect, if, it's too, if it's too risky for the community to kill you, the community will just hinder you as much as possible with wrong advice, or by, by pushing the wrong partner on you. It, and that's not going multiple ways. So, now you know how to re recognize that a death spell goes on. Now you know what a death spell is, how it operates. Death spells, most of them collective. Rarely we have an individual death spell. Because individual death spells are quite expensive to do, by the way, in food. So, how can you prevent death spells from being placed on people? Now, death spells will come anyway, because that's how society works. But you can teach people how to reduce the likability, the probability of becoming a target. And that is check what the taboos are. Once you know what the taboo is, don't break the taboo. If you have to break the taboo for your job or because the Lord anointed you, like in my case, that is different. In my case, I'm annoyed with having father to discuss the taboos of, 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 of society. So that's why I have the protection from having father to do this. If God did not anoint you, to expose and address that boost, do not even break the boost of the community. Because once you break that boost, the failure is the same. People are going to lose their mind, and guess what? You or those around you are going to become the next target. Mark for death. So what I'm doing on YouTube right now is quite dangerous. I said this years ago, I believe it was 2016, I believe. Was 2016? 2015, I believe. Anyway, I said it years ago in a short video that the life, I said back then that my life was dangerous, that what was blessed was also dangerous. Not everyone can just live life there. And I stand behind that. Not everyone can walk in my shoes. Not everyone can be doing what I'm doing. Some people only hate the things I'm talking about, and already the channel is shut down by YouTube. Already they're fired from the job. Already uh, they're, they're at a homeless because nobody wants to do them anymore. Most of the things on this channel, a lot of people are terrified to even mention them or acknowledge them. Why can I do all this so easily? Because I'm anointed and empowered, but I afford to do so. I have the protection. I still face attacks, I still face resistance, but I have the ability to shut down the violence God given to me. If God not anoint you, to deal with the failures of the community, then do not even mention the failures. Simple as that. Keep your mouth shut about them, especially in public or on social media. Also, when people won't keep their mouth shut about the failures of the community, if they're believers walking by faith, so be it. But if not believers walking by faith, avoid those people, because you will be collateral damage where the public can't get to them. Simple as that. Mm. All right. I don't have that much more to say here. I explained all that I need to explain about being marked for death. Also, how to prevent it. Also, what to do about it. There to be ahead of it. And please watch my previous live stream about um, um, shut. Uh, let me see what the name of the previous live stream was. Hold on. Uh, watch my previous live stream called "Undoing Psychic Charges." 
watch that live stream together with this one. Please, if you finish the live stream, replay it and also watch the previous live stream. You'll get a fuller picture of all, of all of this. All right. Now, are there any questions about this topic? Let me know now, please. Let me know. Let me know in the live chat, please. Are there any questions about this topic? Wait for two more minutes. Wait for one more minute. If I get no questions, I'll close on the live stream. Okay, Darren had a question. Okay, let me highlight the question. Um, you said when you see these things, it's already too late. I was talking about the extraordinary kindness, if it's a sudden intense love bombing. And it's done by the public, just but it's, it can be done by just one individual. Most of the time, it's a, it's a bunch of people doing it, the public. If this goes on, the best thing to do is again to plan moving to another location or go on a long holiday or become more flexible with your place of residence. Because once that extraordinary kindness begins, Sooner or later, the assassination attempt will come. Now, if you're a believer, walk in power, they can't kill you, but it can still hinder you. So even then, it's better just move away to another location. Okay, so on us, uh, do I need to watch your last live to know about what particular fail failures? Watching my last live stream will add to knowledge about this, and they complement one another. So please watch my last live. And also watch this one again, take notes, and you'll get a full image of what goes on. Because psychic charges and being marked for death are similar because being marked for death is a negative psychic charge. And in the previous live stream, I explained how to undo negative psychic charges. So being marked for death is a specific negative psychic charge that you can counter. So watch my previous live stream, please. Thank you. No, never be paranoid. Not necessary. All right, let me see if there are any other questions here. Okay, and is there any other questions? Thank you all for being here. Keep it coming Christ, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time. The use of come decrease. I've, I've been making other lives too. Command the unrest to crash, command the earth to swallow up uh, the, the resistance against your individual and to cover it permanently in Christ's mighty name. Amen.